All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Does everyone have their socks taped? Yeah. Yes. Find it with us. What the hell are jazz shoes, black? Did you really ask that, Jill? She has black socks on. What, what color would you wear? Once again, we're in the green room and like nothing's right. There's no time to rehearse. The girls aren't ready. Maddie's pigtails are all askew. It's mayhem. Okay, now I'm marking it. You forgot it? You're kidding me. Thank gosh we're running through it. Come on, Paige, you want to start it with Leslie, your were you a dance teacher in your past life? No, why? Because you tell her what to do. She's 14. I'm allowed to no, talk I to my daughter. No, I just think that you're treating her like a baby. I'm not treating her like a baby. I'm her mother, and she's my daughter, and she's dancing. I'm reiterating what you tell her all the time. If you don't yell it yet, you're never going to know it. Got it? Not five minutes before you go on. I don't think it's fair that Abby yells at the parents just because the parents know what to do. They're moms for a reason. They're helping us. So I don't think that if she's not in the conversation, don't join the conversation. It wasn't meant for you. Let's go. We have to be ready. We're on one number. Let's go. They have to know the number. Why don't you let them finish running it? If it goes on and we miss it, then it doesn't matter if they know it or not. What's the difference? It doesn't make a difference if they go on stage and it doesn't make a difference. And let them run. Let them run the number. If we don't get there, it doesn't matter if they know it or not. What's the difference? We got to go. You know what, Leslie? We've been doing this every single weekend. It will be fine. You're the new man on the block. I understand. Don't make way. Are they going to hold it for us? Probably not for Leslie Ackerman. Maybe for Abby Lee Miller. Okay. It's my name, my reputation, not yours. It's their right names, too. Exactly. You keep saying it's only you, but these kids are all the ones on the stage. Right, right Christy, they're Abby Lee's kids. But they're Chloe and Mia and Maddie and Peyton. And Abby's sitting there barking at these girls. It's my name, it's my name. And for God's sakes, we are so tired of hearing it's your name. It's not. When Chloe stands on stage, people are looking at Chloe. When Maddie's on stage, they're looking at Maddie and Mia. Yes, they dance under Abby's studio, but ultimately, they're the ones on stage. Hey, you your money. She just stole it. Don't you say that to my daughter! Look the way you act! Be a role model! I am a role model, Abby. You're the worst role model here! This is act number 34, What Comes Around. come downstage and Peyton takes a kick me sign and puts it on her back. Maddie's ponytails were kind of in the way and Peyton put it up too high. So instead of enjoying the number, we're all looking at Maddie's back to see if the sign's gonna stay on. And I was cringing. What goes up must come down. to watch these girls dance. I totally enjoy the group numbers. However, this one didn't stick with me too much. It didn't stand out much. The only thing that stood out in my mind was Peyton because she was eight feet taller than all the other kids. And I'm not sure she pulled off the bully role very well. What do you think your critique's gonna be? Look, look. Better than Kendall? I thought she did better than Kendall look, too. Everything. Thanks. So I think you'll be getting that sweatsuit. Peyton, you almost screwed the whole entire dance up with the sign. You can't just like whoa, stick whoa, 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 whoa. it. No, no, whoa, whoa, me. You have no, to make sure it's on there. There's ponytails up high enough. Why are you gonna say Peyton did? Well, well, yeah, but she has to correct what no, she's screwed Abby, up. No, Abby, it starts from the beginning and did it should. Did you say no, Abby? No, Abby. I thought she did fabulous. Right, and you're not a dance teacher. Hey, you tell me how you thought she did. I thought she was okay. I think your turns, suit new, never crossed your thighs once. You need to fix that turnout. 
I thought that I was better than most of the people. For you all thought you were better than most of the people in this group? Wise. Oh, that's cocky. But that's how I feel, performance wise. Oh. Mm. I was appalled. I cannot believe that a 14 year old young adult would open her mouth and act like that in a room full of amazing dancers. Did you see everyone else dancing? That's how I felt. Of course she thought she did great. You know, every kid and every dancer that gets out on that stage thinks they are the best dancer. And they think it, they just don't say it. And you know, Peyton being coerced, she said it. We have a really nice camaraderie amongst the girls here, but we don't critique each other. I ask you how you felt about you, not in comparison to everyone else, just about your performance. So everybody was perfect but Peyton? No. You didn't critique one other person? I don't need to. Peyton did for me. <laughs> I don't think there is an apology to give to the group. She said it, it's out there, and it was wrong, and it was bad. It will take years to regain their trust. These are her friends. These are her comrades. This is her team. She shouldn't belittle others. That's my job. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our awards presentation. I'm always nervous at a competition. I have a group without one of their key players. I have a new member that's a foot taller than everybody else. I have another kid that's still on probation that keeps making mistakes. Yes, of course I'm nervous. Intermediate, modern, small group. Are you ready? Second place goes to I Love Rock and Roll. Oh, this is us. Backpack girls. Nice job. The group dance also did not win their category. I thought for sure, with the level of difficulty, that they were going to win that, and they didn't. So either the judges didn't get it, maybe they thought it was inappropriate. I don't know. Hello. 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 Chloe. Remember, I told you getting on top of that pyramid is one thing, staying there's another. No matter who your competition is, no matter how long they've been doing it, doesn't matter. If you're in that age category, I want you to win that age category. It's so funny, because Chloe finally earned her way to the top of the pyramid, and Abby has said some things to her that are so out of line. I've never heard her say those things to Maddie. But there's no favoritism. So, Peyton, how about that overinflated ego, huh? This group's been winning, 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 winning. Do you think they lost because of her? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to read the judges' comments and listen to the critiques and see what they say. Well, is she going to be able to dance with the team again? I don't know. I don't think what she did on stage really is what my concern is. It was coming back to the dressing room and saying that she was fabulous no, and everybody you, else You stuck. know what? You flustered her. She didn't mean it like that. You're, you're talking to a 14-year-old. If you want to fight with I know. somebody, then you I fight mean, with me, her mother, I, It's not I about fighting, her. Leslie. If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. But it's different. People are paying me for my opinion. So you are still on probation. You know, Peyton's sassy little mouth may have just ruined her chances of getting off probation, maybe even getting on this competition team. Abby's really mad at Peyton. Why? Because of the way it came out when Peyton was talking about the rest of the group dance right. and her performance in comparison to everyone else. I, I will speak for myself. I took it the same way that Abby said it. Wait, wait. And then she apologized, and then you're still saying this to me? Um, you didn't let me finish my comment. Well, because I'm pissed off, that's why. Thanks. You don't accept apologies from a 14-year-old? I did accept your apology. Have this conversation with me. But, wait, no, no, there's no, 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 a lot of enabling no, no, no. going on. Somebody shut you down, and you can't You're not shutting me down, yes, Leslie. I did. Ladies, I'm standing outside with a dance teacher that's a friend of mine, and I can hear every word you're saying. I'm still upset, Abby. I know, but Leslie, you know what? Your daughter's 14 years old. You say that she's a grown-up, she's this, she's that. She has a smart mouth on her. You need to dig your fingernails into her mouth wait, wait, and tell her to wait. shut her mouth. Okay, stop. Did you not put her on the spot that got her to, to that point where she said something wrong and apologized to you? You did not put her on this team because of her comment. Is that what, that's what I want to know. Yes. Then that's a shame. Shame on you, and I hope you feel no better. No shame on me. Laying your head down on your pillow. Don't shame on me. You're going to kick her off to the curb? You don't walk into a dressing room with a whole group of people and say, I was fabulous and you all weren't. It's ridiculous. No, you picked, you let her daughter you know off what, Leslie, That's You don't why. need to be here. You said 
You can find a dance to put her in. I did. If Peyton would have been in that, that would have been Chloe's fault. Yeah. She came in here and had this snotty little attitude and you back her up. I don't think you guys have to put up with me much longer. I'll be gone. This will be it.